I think na panood nyo na itong phone na to sa aking unboxing and first impression si Oppo A95 OMG it was actually a very good phone initially I gave for my mom pero kasi nakita ko yung kanyang specs and yung kanyang performance pang gaming pala talaga siya ang masabi ko na naman is sobrang unexpected to Si Oppo A series phones ay yung pinaka affordable ni Oppo. Pero kasi the great thing about this is that it's very affordable and the specs were pretty good. AMOLED Full HD Plus Eye Care Display, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, 5,000 milliampere battery, 33 watts fast charging. Nalaman ko na lang yung kanyang touch sampling rate. I 180 hertz palang pang gaming talaga siya. And speaking of gaming, nako kailan yung makita yung kanyang game mode dito guys. Meron palang siyang secret feature dito na napapabilis kanyang performance. Na yung check ng FPS and you can also reply messages directly sa messenger in game wow and that's why for me it's worth taking a second look kaya ito na ang full review ni Oppo A95 Upper Sabins and you're watching Unbox Tairis uhuhu So first of all, yung design mo na. Oppo is calling it the Oppo Glow Design. Kasi nga, nag-glow siya. I think ito yung medyo pang feminine na design. No, meron siyang black color. If you want a simpler, much more manlier. The Oppo Glow Design has this rainbow effect sa likod. Smooth yung back. This is made out of plastic, pati yung body niya. Which is usong-uso sa 2021. Wala man siya lang glass body this 2021. And it's totally okay kasi nga yung plastic body ay medyo magaan. Also, napansin ko rin sa 2021, puro matte back na sila. Yan na po ang uso ngayon. Well, that's because the matte back has a very smooth, very clean design. Kahit anong hawak mo dyan, smudge-free fingerprint magnet. Tingnan nyo yan, kahit anong hawak mo dyan, malinis na malinis pa rin likod. Halos walang fingerprints or smudge. I love that. Pero nga, medyo slidey siya, slippery. But if you want the extra grip, lagyan mo ng jelly case para hindi siya madulas. That still looks nice. Pero ito kasi, pag nakahubad, ang ganda siyang tingnan. Parang ang sarap tuloy gamitin kahit wala siyang jelly case. The phone is very thin. 7.95 millimeters and very light, 175 grams. The phone is neither too big or too small. Kasi ang kasya 100 ayan. Ang okay sa kanya is meron pa siyang headphone jack. Lab na lab ko yan kasi nga mahilig pa rin ako mag wired headphones. And yes, this phone is dual nano SIM card slot plus meron pa siyang micro SD card slot for expandable storage. So marami kang pwedeng install dito. On top of the 128 gigs of internal storage. And oh by the way, sabi pala ni Oppo, sobrang tibay daw ni Oppo A95. It has the Oppo quality. No standard is too high. 28,000 drop tests. 150 temperature shock tests at 500,000 power button press tests. Grab me naman yan. Test tests. <laughs> Google, barili kita sa mukha eh. Ito ang best part sa kanya, which is yung kanyang display. For this price, walang ganito klaseng display. Ganito ang ganang quality. It is a 6.43 inch, 1080p AMOLED display na meron 90.8% screen to body ratio, 180 Hz touch something rate sa game mode. Meron siyang 16 million colors, 92% DCI-P3 at 100% sRGB and get this 409 ppi pa siya which is super high quality super high res ang kanyang display and immediately kapag nakatamay yung display niya masaya mo talaga high quality siya okay yung contrast okay yung saturation malakas ang dating ng mga pictures sa Facebook pati na rin yung mga videos kapag nanonood ka sa Facebook sa YouTube sa Netflix everything will look beautiful yun lang na sa YouTube ay 1080p lang siya hindi siya mahabot ng 1440p or uh, 4K not sure why Ayan po ang itsura ng hometown cha-cha dito sa phone na to. Looks pretty nice and sharp, di ba? Actually, sobrang nag-enjoy ako sa pagdood ng mga movies dito. Hindi ko na malay na ang tagal ko pala nanood. It's just that maganda yung speakers niya rin. Malakas na malakas. At yung battery niya napakatagal din. Okay yun na, AMOLED na. Tapos ang tagal ba maubos ng battery. Inabot din ako ng mga 10 hours sa pagdood sa Netflix and sa YouTube bago ito malobat. Pero syempre kasi nag-eye care ako dito sa display. Ayan. At dinark mode ko din. So, ang laking tulong na to, battery saving, and meron pa siya yung eye comfort, no? Ayan. So, ito yung special feature niya, si eye comfort. Nagbabago yung kanyang temperature depending sa inyong lugar. For example, dito sa aking studio, nag-warm siya yung colors. Pero sa labas naman, medyo cool siya ng konti. And meron din siyang low brightness flicker-free eye comfort. Minsan kasi no, kapag ka madilim at uh, binababa mo yung brightness ng iyong display, medyo nagkakaroon din ng eye strain. Ayun. Or fatigue. No, napagod yung mata natin sa katingin sa low brightness. And this will actually help it. Plus dark mode pa, so panalong panalo na. Yun lang, wala siyang high refresh rate display. Pero kasi for me, I'll gladly trade the high refresh rate for battery life. And mas importante sa akin ang AMOLED display. Now when it comes to graphics, no, ang laking tulong talaga ng AMOLED display. And when you think about it, yung combination ng AMOLED display plus high refresh rate ay napaka imposible for this price. You can only choose one. For me, it's AMOLED always over high refresh rate. It not only gives you more battery life, but also better looking pictures, better looking graphics in Mobile Legends and uh, Call of Duty, Genshin Impact, 
mas marami siya mabibigay sa'yo over high refresh rate. Especially yung kanyang brightness. Guys, sobrang importante ng brightness, especially outside. Tinry ko siya, no? Dahil naka-amula display ito, it was able to output up to 800 nits of brightness. Kaya lang hindi siya too visible sa sunlight. Medyo dim siya ng konti. Sa labas kasi guys, at least 1,000 nits talaga kalaan mo if malakas yung sikat ng araw. Pero if meron kang shade, no? Okay na okay yung kanyang visibility, very usable yung kanyang display. At since amula siya, meron din siyang fingerprint scanner in display. Ito, mabilis na rin. Ayan, so, nasa display na kanyang unlock. All you need is to tap and you're good to go. Sa games naman, no, dahil naka-amal na display siya, napakaganda ng graphics sa Mobile Legends. And get this, meron siyang ultra graphics sa Mobile Legends. Nakakatuha nga. Konting force lang, merong ultra graphics right out of the box. And this one supports it right away. At di lang yun, super optimized pa siya for this game. Napansin ko lang, sobrang taas na resolution by default. Yung kasi guys, yung Mobile Legends ng mga ibang phones, pababa ang resolution. Even though meron silang ultra graphics, hindi nila sinasabi sa inyo na mababa baba ang resolution by default. Ito, mataas ang resolution at maganda pa ang kanyang graphics. Very optimized. Although, it's not super smooth, no? Sa ultra graphics. I am playing this at high graphics, no? Hindi ka naman pwede palitan sa kanyang resolution. Just like what you can do on a PC, hindi mo magagawin dito. Pero pwede mo magagawin yung ultra high graphics. Kung gusto mo lang talaga yung the best looking, most graphically impressive looking Mobile Legends game, ultra graphics mo yan. Pero kung mas importante sa'yo yung smoothness, well, mag high graphics ka na lang or medium. Kasi ngayon kanyang processor is uh, not too powerful, no? Snapdragon 662 processor. And with that, ang pinaka-okay, pinaka-smooth na gameplay sa kanya is high graphics on Mobile Legends. But wait lang ha, pwede mo pa inahan sa kanyang performance gamit ang kanyang game space kasi nakabalance lang pala kanyang performance kanina. So I tried Pro Gamer Mode. At kapag inad mo yung game dito, well actually by default, andito na si Mobile Legends. At kapag na-change ka from balance sa Pro Gamer Mode, tataas yung kanyang performance and also yung kanyang touch sampling rate. From 135Hz touch sampling, magiging 180Hz na siya. Siguro to save the battery life? Kasi siguro pag nag-Facebook ka lang, nag-swipe sa labas, hindi mo siguro kala ng accuracy. Tapos ang 2 to benchmark, no, napansin ko na, from 208,000 points, naging 211,000 points na siya. Which is a minor speed bump. Also, kapag ka naka-game space mode ka, meron kang new feature within the game itself, which is this panel. Kapag ka in-swipe left mo, Ayan, ipapakita niya CPU, GPU percentage, and even yung FPS. You can also block notifications, reject calls kapag ka serious ka talaga sa game mo, no? Siyempre kapag nagrarang ka, ayaw mo na mga messages, calls, para walang istorbo. Pwede ka na mag-screenshot dito, mag-message, switch ng Wi-Fi, pero siguro yung pinapagod dito is yung kanyang bullet notification, which is meron ka mga selected apps na pwede rin magkaroon ng notifications like Messenger, Whatsapp, pero yun lang, nakalimit lang sa kanala. At ayun na nga, pwede mag-message sa Messenger straight from the game. Kung gusto mo mag-invite ng uh, kasama, type mo lang, tara G, hindi G agad. Maganda yan guys, kasi nga, usually ganun ako mag-invite ng mga friends from Messenger talaga. Eto naman sa Call of Duty, pinalabas ko na actually ito sa aking unboxing video, pero papakunta sa inyo, ulit ako ano yung graphics niya dito. Ito yung settings niya, high graphics, up to high frame rates, and yes, maganda ang graphics dito ng Call of Duty. One of the better graphics you can get on a mid-range device. Better ah, not the best, syempre, pero kung mahilig ka mag Mobile Legends plus mag Call of Duty pa, this phone will not disappoint. At syempre, sa Genshin Impact, ayan po, wala akong masyadong magawa dito, kahit naka game space, hindi pa rin niya kaya mag medium graphics. Still, the lowest graphics is okay for this phone and 30 frames per second. Yun, yung, yung pinaka-okay na playable na mag-enjoy ka. Ayan. And of course, tinray na namin ang camera sa halos lahat ng bagay. Ayan po, ang itsurang ganda. Yung camera niya is 48MP triple camera setup. Meron pa siyang 2MP depth sensor and 2MP macro lens. Para sa akin, yung kanyang main camera is napakaganda. Especially the bokeh effect. Very convincing, no? Akala mo it was not taken on a mid-range phone. Although, color could be better, no? In contrast. Pero napansin ko kapag ka nilapit mo naman, kapag ka close up, na portrait shots. Maganda ang itsura ng mga subjects. For example, this plant right here. Very nice. Yung camera niya is maganda siya kapag ka-close up yung mga photos. Kapag mga landscape naman, medyo hindi ka naman sharp. Ayun, ayun na naman. Pero kapag ka-close up talaga pag mga portrait shots, talagang nagsashine yung kanyang image quality dito. Sobrang sharp. You could mistake it for a high-end camera phone. And of course, yung kanyang beautification sa mga tao. Guys, ang sikreto ng mga gwapo. Hindi po master, hindi po eskinol. Walang toner ang makakagawa ng ganito sa inyo. Ultimong si Opo lang ang pwedeng gumawa nito. Bakit ka nabibili ng eskinol or master kung meron kang Opo? Ito yung the best dito yung kanyang selfie camera. No? Hindi mo na kaya mag-makeup dito kasi nga ang skin mo sobrang smooth. Pawi ka na agad. Kahit pagpawisan ka, fresh na fresh ka pa rin. Sikrat ng mga gwapo? Oppo A95. At hindi lang mukha mo ang magiging fresh, pati yung buhok mo. Tinan man ha, kahit wala pa akong ligo, halos lahat sa pictures ko mukhang may bagong ligo ako. And my face looks 
So cute. Laki ng mata ko. Oh, mga kaibigan, wala pa akong ligo niyan. Pero mukha akong bagong ligo at walang makeup po yan. It's all the power of the selfie expert, Oppo. And yes, okay rin siya sa low light, no? Very usable sa mga very dark places. Basta gamitin nyo lang yung night mode niya. Meron siyang pro mode dito, so marami kang pwedeng i-kalikot. White balance, ISO, shutter speed. Just not very advanced, no? At yung kanyang video ay uh, walang ultra steady mode. Something that is usually found sa kanilang mga Oppo Reno series. Yes, walang uh, EIS dito, pero okay na rin, no? Saktuan yung kanyang image quality. Advice ko lang dapat ninja ka dito. Parang Naruto. Para swabe ang yung video. Ayan ang sample. At yan makibigan si Oppo A95 for only 15,999 pesos. It is a very decent gaming phone. A very decent camera phone. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a great phone to buy for Christmas. Hindi hindi kayo magsisi. Ang the best kasi kay Oppo is hindi yung specs. But it's software, no? It's reliable, hindi siya bumabagal agad. At hindi madalas mag-crash yung mga applications. It has the latest color OS. 11.1, Android 11 na rin to. Actually, kaka-update lang, no? Ang daming updates nito, which you don't find on other phones. Ibig sabihin nyo, kanyang support ay maganda rin. And also, kapag ka nasira or napahamak yung phone nyo, madali nyo lang siya mapapaayos dahil ang daming Oppo service centers sa ating bansa. At yun, mga kapitid, sa mga okay na mid-range phones na pwede nyo bilhin this 2021, nearing Christmas na. Baka magkaroon pa tayo ng top 10 mid-range phones under 10K, 20K. Baka lang lumabas to. And if you want to see that video, mag-subscribe ka lang, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content and presidents. And you're watching Unbox Ladies. Hoo-hoo.